Our first trip with Tora was from Florida to Minnesota. We wanted a cat with us for companionship, pretty much, to make it feel more like home. And that was when it was snowing. So we went from 80 degrees, nice sunny Florida to freezing cold. I'm a truck driver over the road, so we pick up and deliver in all 48 states across the continental U.S. Both of us really like cats, and being out here, we only go home every five to eight weeks. The first thing that we noticed was her flat face, <laughs> instantly seeing how cute she was, we knew we had to have her. She actually took to the truck very well. She actually enjoyed getting up on the windowsill. We have some toys, or she'll be trying to climb a seat. On the truck, she likes to look at other drivers, like as they're passing. She's been to 42 states, so she really enjoyed being outside exploring. We've been to Dallas, Austin, and we went to Sacramento, California. Initially, we weren't even there to do a canoe trip. We were just taking Tora to the park and we're like, okay, how would it go if we put Tora in a canoe? We kind of got an idea for that because like, she's always been curious about water. She was blown away by the water. The salt wash was in Utah. You walk out onto a plateau. Tora was blown away by it. Like She liked to sit on the edge and she would look down forever and she didn't want to leave. So a typical day, we usually start early about four in the morning. So we'd get out in the morning and go for a quick 10 to 15 minute walk and just play around outside. And then we'll drive probably four hours. And after that, we'll stop and take another walk. The whole time, especially in the morning, is when she loves sitting on the dashboard and watching cars go by and other trucks. After we stop after about four hours, we'll take a 30 minute break. That's usually at a rest area. And then we'll get back in the truck and have usually about six hours of driving because we do 10 hours of driving every day. And usually during that last six hour stretch, she'll be playing with other stuff in the truck. It is a lot to take on at first, but I definitely think it's worth it in the end. Thankfully, I have Destiny to travel with, which makes it a lot less lonely, but most drivers out here, it's just them. So it definitely helps with having a cat around that you can take care of and have that companionship on the road. It's a very sedentary lifestyle. So you're in the truck, we work 10 to 14 hour days, and then afterwards you just want to go to sleep and that's it. And then the next day you're going to do the same thing and you're not going to be active. But having a cat that walks on a leash, it's kind of forced us like, okay, we have to get out and we have to walk and we have to be more active. Tora has definitely made trucking a lot easier, a lot more fun, and seeing how much she enjoys these things, it makes me feel really good. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.